Hi guys, I'm here with Carla Fry, the only female drifter in the WA Drift Series. Welcome to the show, Carla. Thanks for having me. So for the viewers at home, what exactly is drifting? Uh, well, drifting is a little bit different to usual motorsport. Um, it's not time-based, but um, it's just trying to get your car as sideways as possible around the racetrack. So if it's not time-based, how do you win? Uh, well, you're judged on speed, line and angle. Um, so you battle another car around the racetrack. Um, you take turns in leading and following. Um, so you're trying to uh, maintain the speed with the other car, um, have more angle than them and also have a good line. So when I watch the drifting, I see a lot of smoke coming out of the tyres. Is that judged as well? Uh, no, it's purely for looks. Okay, so how long have you been drifting for? Uh, well, I started in 2007, um, practiced for about five months and then I started competing. Okay, so you pretty much got into it straight away? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Cool, so the, uh, the, your drift machine behind us is a Nissan Silvia S13. Did you want to run us through the car? Yeah, sure. One of the first things I did was change my coilovers. This stops a lot of body roll you get with stock suspension and just gives greater feel for the driver. Um, I've also changed my low control arms to IKEA Formula adjustable ones. I've got adjustable caster, camber and traction rods. So these are all adjustable and rose jointed. I've got solid subframe bushes, various bracing such as fender braces and strut tail braces. I've got a Tommy two-way diff, six puck brass button clutch, S15 brakes, GP Sports steering knuckles. Um, I'm running 17 inch rims all around. I used to have a CA18 engine until I blew it up. Now it's got a SR20 engine and it's running about 300 horsepower. I've got a Garrett GT2871 turbo running 17 psi, Tommy Pong cams, Nismo 700 injectors, upgraded fuel pump and pressure regulator. It's running a power C D Jetro, the usual pod intake and a V mount intercooler setup. This helps give greater response and keeps the engine temps down as well. So Carla, what are your future modifications? Uh, well, I need a bit more power, so I'd like to get some bigger cams, bigger turbo. I want a bit more boost, so hopefully I'll get at least another 50 horsepower out of it. Excellent. And I've noticed you've got some personalised plates in the car. What do they mean? Dori Garu means drift girl in Japanese. Very suitable. I'm hoping that the S13 isn't your daily drive. No, I try and keep it in the garage as much as possible. Otherwise, I get way too many yellow stickers. So I drive a Nissan Navara daily. Makes sense. Drifting must be a pretty expensive sport. So how do you manage to pay for it all? Well, I'm a uni student, so it's pretty tough, but I've got Roy from Kenzai Garage sponsoring me. So he does all my mechanical labour, which is just great. Excellent. If you're interested in sponsoring Carla in the upcoming drift season, please email us at drift at perthstreetscene.com. Otherwise, you can find out all the upcoming battles at wascc.com.au. Thanks for coming on the show, Carla. We'll see you on the track soon. Thanks. Now let's go check out some bright seats. Do you ever feel like your body is sliding around in your seat when taking corners hard? Maybe you should think about upgrading your seat. Putting brands aside, there are two main types. You've got your fixed and your reclinable. With the fixed seats, they are more solid and have less play. And as the name suggests, the reclinable seats have an adjustable back support. Now the seat that I'm sitting in at the moment is a Bride Stradia. This is a hybrid reclinable, which means that it only reclines backwards. So by law, it is unsuitable for coupes with back seats as they require the seat to recline forward. The added benefit of having this seat allows you to concentrate on your driving rather than correcting your seating position. These aftermarket seats also allow a harness to be fitted, but many enthusiasts just have the seat as a feature on their show car. If you'd like any more information on this or on any other segment of our show, please visit perthstreetscene.com. So you think that go-karts aren't fast enough, street racing isn't your thing. Or maybe you simply don't have the funding to build that hardcore track car you've always wanted but still want to race. Well maybe you'd be interested in Formula V racing. Formula V started in the 60s by a Volkswagen dealer in the States and within a year was one of the most popular and fastest growing motorsports around. At a glance, specs state that only 1200cc and 1600cc air-cooled VW engines are to be used with no mods other than polishing and porting of cylinder heads, producing a maximum of 50 horsepower. 
Minimum weight, including the driver, is 475 kilos for the 1200cc engines and 490 kilos for the 1600cc. Top speed is around 200 kilometers per hour, depending on the gearbox. VW 1200, 1300 or 1500 gearboxes are permitted, but must be mounted at 180 degrees for better weight distribution. If you're looking to get in on the action, then a used rolling chassis without the engine starts at around $3,500, whereas a fully built race-ready car starts at around $7,000. But if brand new is the way you want to go, then you still want to budget around $20,000. Running costs are also kept low by the minimal mods allowed and the vast levels of locally supplied parts. We've been invited down by Bruce and Jason from Wealth Plus Group, who owns one of these awesome cars, and to give us a bit of inside info on Formula V Racing. So Bruce, uh, can you tell us a bit about Formula V Racing and uh, what sort of cars we can see racing today? Certainly, Formula V was uh, started uh, over 45 years ago. Someone thought it'd be a great idea to combine the simplicity of a Volkswagen engine and gearbox and uh, suspension into a space sh frame chassis, together with some bodywork, and turn it into a, uh, a competitive one category formula. So it's been running for over 45 years, and as you can see by the turnout here today, very popular here in Western Australia. Excellent, and can you tell us a bit about how you got into it and what uh, made you attracted to Formula V racing? I was racing uh, Speedway down in the southwest of Western Australia for, for many years, and uh, we moved back to Perth, and so I was looking for something that I could get into. And my father-in-law used to race them many years ago. In fact, he was the South Australian champion some years ago. So we had a bit of a background knowledge of Formula V. We came up and watched it for a while and were able to secure a car back then. And so 16 years on, I'm still here, still running and, and having a ball with it. That's excellent. And as you can imagine, finding a sponsor for such a sport uh, can be quite difficult. But we have Jason here from Wealth Plus Group, who is one of the major sponsors. And it's great to see them sponsoring the, uh, the Jason team group. So Jason, can you tell us um, you know, how this fits into your business model and how you were attracted to Formula V Racing as a sponsor? Yeah, we pride ourselves on being a WA-based company and um, we love sponsoring WA events and also at the same time a lot of charities we do in WA as well. So this really just fitted in our business model that Bruce and his team um, really believe what we believe in terms of supporting the local community, community. plus at the same time as well, um, it's a great day out. Excellent. And um, as you may or may not know, uh, Wealth Plus Group specialises in home and car loans. Um, if anyone wants to find out any information on your services, where can they go? Yeah, so if they want to give us a uh, tingle, we've got two offices, one in uh, South Perth and also one in Subiaco. So um, if you need finance to uh, get one of these nice cars and race them, or if you want uh, finance to buy a house to be able to uh, store one of these nice cars, or if you want to buy, uh, get a personal loan to get a garage to fill, fill it up, uh, we do the whole lot. So just give us a call on uh, 9388700 or our website at www.wealthplusgroup.com.au and uh, our team would love to help you out. No worries. So uh, that's all we've got time for. Thanks, Bruce and Jason, for letting us come and check out those cars. I'd love to get into one of these, but I think I'll uh, let you guys do it. <laughs> Sadly, that Anytime. is all we have time for today. Um, if you'd like more, any, any more information on the show, please head to our website, perthstreetscene.com. And uh, until then, keep on modifying. SVS Automotive is Perth's newest premier performance workshop. From standard servicing on your daily driver to custom performance installs, SVS in O'Connor is the place to go. Check out svsautomotive.com.au or call 9331 5995.